everybody and welcome back to an interesting episode of Jurassic World Evolution where today Oh, do we have something special for you? This is actually I don't even know what this one is. I think it's Isla Takano Research Facility. It's something like that. Basically the one with you know, Henry Wu. He, he gets you to do the bloody annoying thing and get you to kill everything and it's a really tiny space. What, what we've done a lot on this channel. We, we've had a lot of battle royales. What else could we do? What we have done all the time is the land. I mean here you can see not much like we've seen trees before. We've seen this earth stuff. We don't want to see any more of that. No, 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 no. What we want to see more of is something different, something unique. What a quadric DLC! <laughs> Thanks to a couple of mods um, that came out recently, um, there is a, a map expansion. And not only is there a map expansion, um, there is terrain tools that can help out with that too. So not not only are you restricted to um, like the, the map restraints, but you're also not restrained to um, how steep a slope of, or an angle can be of a of an area. So if you look here, when I place these down, because this is technically a rock, and uh, I think they're both rocks actually. But when I placed it down, it smoothed it all out. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Um, apparently not. There is still building constraints. Oh, but you'll do it there, will you? Oh, you'll do it. <laughs> can't, can't build this amazing little flap that you've made. No, no, gotta, gotta place it there. Uh, once you place down a building, it uh, it, it does this like um, thing that Jurassic World Evolution would normally do. That's as steep as a slope can get. Um, and we could probably add some other things to this. Like I said, that log, which also affects the steep and of course the slowness. So let's say we wanna add some things around it, you know, make it look a little bit different, but we can't actually make it a steep drop off. However, of course, with these new amazing thingies, we can just go to the flat and then look at that, we can just bring it all the way in. So when we look out now, uh, look at this, this is so cool. Except for that weird floating thing with these leaves and stuff. It looks like they've built around it, that looks sweet. Everything is uh, underwater. Um, why would that be, James? Why would everything be underwater? Wait a minute, there's also a dinosaur out there. Oh, oh what could it be? It's so exciting. Before we go any further, I want to say a big thank you to the Toho Society, who are the ones who created and allowed us to be able to expand out from our island. So now, all of this that you can see here is expandable and buildable into, which of course you wouldn't even be able to build into uh, the water, which is quite, you know, uh, which we can now do. And I also want to give another shout out to Harlequin's Ego, or is it Egg Zero, who uh, made these amazing terrain tools. So if you click on it, not only do you have an intensity and radius, but you also have a slope. So if we put the, um, the radius down and we put the intensity up and we do, I don't know, a slope, we can get like just a super big, well, very inclined thing, like a cone. <laughs> so we're working with our first ever aquatic battle. Once this, like the expanded maps came out, the, uh, the terrain tools came out, people are now making aquatic creatures because there was no point before to make these aquatic creatures. And the one we are gonna showcase today is the Jurassic World Mosasaurus created by J-I-I-E-I or Jasoba. And the idea uh, was made or given or thought up by um, Sweetener and uploaded by Putito. 777. Uh, it's not the first time we've heard of Petito before. So here it is, the Mosasaurus. <laughs> so I was kind of struggling as to what kind of height we should make this. I didn't want to make it uh, too deep and I didn't want to make it um, too, sh too shallow either. I wanted to have this um, just a nice kind of, I don't know, in between. The thing is right with this, with the way the game is at the moment, if you go under the water, it looks like nothing's there, which sucks. If you're all the way, you can barely see any water. But if you're just on the line, that looks cool. And this is an Acrocanthosaurus. This looks so sweet and it lends itself so well. It's a shame like the walking animations are still there. Um, but we are doing SpongeBob physics here as well, because we have water under water. <laughs> Which is interesting because they can't actually drink from this because it doesn't actually think of this as water. So we are now going to release 
50 Mosasaurus versus on the other side, 50 Indominus Rex, recreating the final battle that was from Jurassic World. And you can barely see it there, there's Indominus Rex. Uh, you can see what level I started at and went, I've made a mistake. Because who wants to see a battle when it looks like that? Or when it looks like that, because it's kind of the same. So hopefully this Indominus Rex should run up and then come out of the water. Here we go, here we go, and yeah! Now nah, that looks sweet. Now we've got like, what could happen? You know, Mosasaurus, you know, maybe it's it's a little bit too deep for the Indominus Rex, they can fight each other. You'll also see if we just scroll up and down, that they've all got different skins and they've all got different um, uh, attack and defense stats. So here we are with Mosasaurus actually in Jurassic World Evolution. <laughs> I love it. I friggin' love it. This is so cool, man. This is so cool. To think all those years ago, when we were hoping... Oh, I say years. I guess it is. Has been years. Three years now? Well, two and a bit years. Um, where we have just been waiting. Waiting and praying that we will eventually get an aquatic update. What would you eat? What would you call this? Or come into existence. Uh, because of the amazing modding community. This is so cool. Oh, man. And, you know, I always speculated that when we were going to see... Oh, God, look at all, look at all the Mosasaur over here. Oh, it's pretty... They're even sleeping. When when uh, talk was uh, thrown about, about um, the Aquatic DLC being a possibility, I always thought that there was a high chance that it was just going to be a self-contained thing. Like a, like a viewing area, and we plop it down, and that would be the Mosasaur. Um, and something like this would just not happen. I really didn't think something like this would happen. Gosh darn it, the modding community just kept at it. They were like, we will code the heck out of this game, and we will... Whoa, Mosasaurus is way bigger than Indominus Rex. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why are you even bothering doing this, James? Indominus Rex is stronger in the game, or why are you doing this, James? Mosasaur is way better than Indominus. You see, it killed it in the movie. Well, I have made sure to try and make them kind of accurate. I haven't put any OP Indominus Rexes in. Um, I've, I've, I want to make this as ran. I have no idea what this is going to be. If I was a betting man, I would probably guess Indominus Rex just because, you know, it's Indominus Rex. And it's won a few, I think, in the past of these battles. Um, <laughs> but I have no idea. What I'm waiting for is for a lot of them, what I should have done is just put one water source and feeding thing in the middle. That's what I should have done. Oh, that'd be cool. They could also go onto the island if they want to. Um, I was thinking about fencing that off, but you know what? If a Mosasaur wants to grow legs and go onto an island, I'm completely happy with that. I like how we have so many alphas of the, uh, of the Mosasaurs. Yeah, with Indominus Rex, there ain't no alpha. There ain't no teamwork going on here. They want to kill each other. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. I love that. We were on like some freaking Planet Zoo level-esque um, landscaping here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, we've, we've got a few over here. Well, we've got some mixing. We've got some mixing. So right now they won't attack each other because I just wanted to see these guys sort of, I don't know, we're like living together for a second and just sort of check out the Mosasaur. So this seems to be the only Mosasaurus skin that's been made. Uh, maybe even that one. But there's this one. I I've definitely seen that on an Acrocanthosaurus before. 100%. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. We got the Mosasaurs starting to mix with the Indominus Rexes. You would think that the Mosasaur would win. Look how big that bleeding head is. Size of a bus. Okay, it seems to be working. It is drawing them in close. In close proximity with each other. Alright, guys. I think this has to be it. Who will win? 50 Mosasaurs or 50 Indominus Rex. Let's go. Alright, alright, here we go. This is it. From now on, they're gonna start killing each other. I think, you know, that the Indominus Rex might lose. Because even if there's one Indominus Rex left, or two Indominus Rex left, they'll kill each other. Whereas the Acrocanthosaurus, I don't think will. Oh, who's the first ones to fight? Who is it? Oh, oh, they bend down. I forget about that. Oh, that looks so sweet though. Hold on. Oh, this is apparently as low as I can get. Oh, Indominus Rex with the rematch. You see, when Mosasaur took on Indominus Rex, 
Oh, it looks like this one's gonna win! This Mosasaur's killed, like, hit him twice! Indominus Rex hasn't been a monster. You see, when Mosasaur took out Indominus Rex, Indominus Rex was already beaten up. It was already taken on Rexy, Blue, all the other Raptors. But, oh, wow, maybe they're close. We've got another fight going on over here. <gasps> Is Mosasaur dead? What? No way! Oh my god, I did not see that coming. I did, oh wait, that's it, that's our first death. I did not see the Mosasaur being killed by Indominus Rex. Oh, there you go! Mosasaur killed Indominus Rex. Oh, it's, 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 it's all random, guys. It's all, look at all of them. <laughs> There's fights going on everywhere. I think that's a, is that a kill? I can't get over there quick enough. No, I think he's eaten. That one's, what's going on over here? We got five plus dead bodies. We got, we got a Mosasaur and Indominus Rex here. Is that one sleep? Is that one dead? No, that one's asleep. Okay, oh, oh, Mosasaur killed. And Indominus Rex there. This is close, man, this is close. Oh, it seems to be the Mosasaurs are killing more Indominus Rexes than anything else. We gotta get him. Oh, there it is, Mosasaur going for the head. And there it is, bah! <laughs> that looks so cool. Wow. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Oh, 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 but there, oh, there goes a Mosasaur. Maybe if there's, if there's some good Indominus Rexes, maybe they're the ones winning. We got another fight here. Oh, it's close. It's close. Are you the good one? Because I've seen, I think I've seen you win. Right, we got one. Two dead Indominus Rexes there. Oh, you're having a nap. Okay, we've still got a battle going on here. Oh, they're calling it quits. These two must be really close. A really close matchup. Looks like the uh, Mosasaur won that one because the Indominus Rex is actually running away. And um, a fair amount of cannibalism going on here. Oh, wow. One, two, two more, two more dead Indominus Rexes over there. What, what have we got going on over here? Look at this. Looks, this looks so cool. This looks sweet. Oh man, if only we could have had some sort of flipping DLC that was the aquatic. That would have been so cool. Look at this. I mean, yeah, the physics, the water physics of the splashes and everything isn't there. But who cares? This looks amazing. Oh god, oh, 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 another Indominus Rex going down. I thought Indominus Rex was going to win. Mosasaur, nah, nah, it's all about the Mosasaur. How about this fight? How about this fight? Oh, oh, is that one gonna win though? Yep, that's a win for the Indominus Rex. But you're in the way. You're in the way, stupid. Mosasaur comes up for a bite there and down it goes. Ooh, no, so far no Acros, oh sorry, no Moses fighting with themselves or Indominus Rex is fighting with themselves. Because you turned their comfort off, damn it, Beaver. Indominus Rex does have the superior uh, regeneration and another defeat for the Indominus. Moose are going for the head there. Indominus tries it and takes down. Wow. This is so cool. <laughs> this is what I wanted. This is what we've been waiting for. God, thank you so much. Everyone who's modded and made all of this possible. Oh, another Indominus Rex goes down over there. Will it be the same over here, though? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, is that the Mosasaur dead? It might be. Oh, it's not. It's not that calling it off. And it looks like Indominus Rex won this one. Oh, look at the eyes of the Mosasaur there. Yeah, Indominus Rex won. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're hugging each other. All right, I don't know how many, how many deaths we got. How many dinosaurs do we have left? We had 100, and now we've only got 62. We've lost 38 dinosaurs so far. We got another Moza. Oh, another Moza killing an Indominus Rex there. What the, uh, the statistics are, because it seems like every time I go to a battle, it's another, oh, never mind, another Indominus Rex going down, however, this guy, ooh, 53%. Could be a good one. That could be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got, oh, we got another. Oh, we got another Mosasaur versus Indominus Rex here. Don't forget, guys, tomorrow we will be live streaming Camp Cretaceous Season 2. 
or like a watch party. We'll be live streaming it, of course, because that's illegal. But we'll be doing a watch party where I watch it, I put up the timestamp to where I am, and you can watch it with me. If you want. Or you can just be a crazy person and watch it with nothing else on. <laughs> I'm really surprised we still have Indominus Rexes to fight here. It seems like they are not doing too well at all. Another one here. Oh, is that another Indominus Rex down? No. However, we got a 100% here Acrocanthosaurus and a 17% Indominus Rex. It does not look good for him. What are the stats here? 196 attack, 62 de defense, 180 and 92. Oh yeah, that Mosaur's way better. Oh wow. It was completely random. Completely random. However, there, what, there is one Mosaur where I put on like the best stats that I could. Thinking that, oh, that would be, you know, that would be the standout. Maybe all of the Mosaur's will die, but this one will stand. But uh, no, it appears that uh, the Mosasaurs are having the last laugh when it comes to this. Jurassic World had it right, whether or not Rexy even took on uh, Indominus Rex. Oh, saying that though, this guy, whoa, this Indominus Rex has got 100% health and has killed a Mosasaur. I don't know, man. I don't know. What's this stat? 191, 126. Whoa. Whoa, maybe this is the standout Indominus Rex. Good lord! Mosasaurus took an early lead, but 49% against 15%. Is this going to be another hit? Look at the seaweed there at the bottom. Gotta, gotta thank Frontier for adding seaweed into the game. <laughs> I don't know if Mosa might have another attack left in it. If it does, oh, it doesn't! And Mosasaurus gets the kill for this one. Damn, the camera just really doesn't want to go any lower. Okay, we're gonna have to see it from here. They are more submerged, these two. Really gonna struggle with the thumbnail for this one. <laughs> There's gonna have to be a lot of Photoshop to make it look realistic. Well, I've changed so far. Are you enjoying editing this one? It's for the video. I will kill you. <laughs> what we got here, 100% Acrocanthosaurus, or sorry, Moser, 170 and 79 against a 137 and 58. So the Indominus Rex is highly outclassed here. However, it did get a bite in probably before it bites the dust. And is it on zero? Oh, it's on 18%. Maybe it will get another hit in. Oh, I don't know. Well, another Indo Indominus Rex and Acrocanthosaurus. Still yet to see a fight between the same species. Um, they want to they wanna settle this grudge match first. Love, this is a different skin for an Indominus Rex. This was a mod, I can't remember who made that. But um, you did good. <laughs> oh, we got another Indominus Rex being taken down. Oh, I don't know. Now, there's definitely going to be a lot of Mosasaurs left. And Indominus Rex likes to fight against a 1%. <laughs> Whoa, that tail's super long. Here it comes, here it comes, and rah, takes down the Indominus Rex. Oh, wow. How many dice are we on? 60 odd? 39 left. And I hazard a guess that. Okay, how many Indominus Rexes can we see? Uh, one. One Indominus Rex. Uh, two. Three. Three Indominus Rex. I see three Indominus Rex out of 37. So that means there is 34. Uh, Mosasaur still running about. But the three Indominus Rex, is it going to be the survival of the fittest? Even though there is only three left, 100% and at 83%. Whoa, maybe these Indominus Rex are actually going to make the difference here. Maybe the Mosasaurs will actually attack each other. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What we need to do is put down that comfort a little bit more. But I kind of like the grudge match. I, I, I like the grudge match. The Indominus Rexes might have just ended up killing each other. Although, these guys, 68% on this guy, 73 on this Mosasaur. So even if the Indominus Rex is better, it is whittling it down. Oh, one of the last three. Then it doesn't look like it's going too well for the Indominus Rex over here. 73% on an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. At least it was. Don't know what happened to it. It's not an Alpha anymore. Did the other one die? And that is a... A third of the remaining population of Indominus Rex bites the dust. There you go, taking down only two remaining. Is it going to be the end of Indominus Rex? I really don't know. Let's. Uh, there's one. This is the one, dude. Uh, oh, we have another one. We have two. Do they have the same attack stats? 
They do? Oh, okay. <laughs> I might have got a little bit lazy and maybe made a few of the same, but it's still random. <laughs> but we still have a whole entire ocean of Mosasaurus for them to wade through. Um, the Indominus Rex are constantly attacking. This one's on 100%, picking a fight with a Mosasaur with 100%. So the Indominus Rex have a lot of battles to get through and they have a lot of regeneration to do as well. This one on 87% there. Um, oh, 63, 27% can the most, so at least get one hit off. Or is it gonna be good night? No, it gets a hit off. It gets, it takes it down to 75%. That's where we might see a change because if these Indominus Rexes, which they will do, constantly fight each other, um, they won't allow themselves to regenerate. However, this one's actually being a big brain about it and is walking away from the fight. Don't know why. Um, I can only hazard a guess because the Mosasaurs are, uh, the Mosasaurs are coming after it. Look at that one flying, growing legs. He's not having it. Oh, decides to pick a fight on the mountainside, not letting it gain all of its health back. Or is it? Is it a different one? It might be a different one. Oh, that one was going for food. Never mind. It looks like it's picked a fight with one of these. Maybe. Oh, it's this one. It's the Alpha. Indominus Rex has, what, 97% health? 98? The 2% can it make a difference? Oh, straight to 63. We got a fight, yeah. This is the fight. But did the other Indominus Rex win? I think it might have. I'd be very surprised. Yep, 78%. It did kill it. Oh, it's already been hit 73% now. Oh, it got hit again. The 2% might be making the difference. Oh no! Goes for another by 27 against 49%. This Indominus Rex should do it. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, there it is! It won it, but it is on 49%. If it gets into another battle now, it could be lights out. It really needs a time to regenerate. If it does not get that time, it's done. Oh wait! Oh no, we, we did have one, my bad. Um, and it was starving and it has now died. It had 196 health, so maybe it wasn't the best Indominus Rex, but it could have, it could have made a difference, maybe. So now Indominus Rex has 50% health, not too bad. The other one is 88. Now the 2% health difference did make a big difference. So whether or not uh, we'll see this Indominus Rex already get into a fight. It looks like the Mosasaurs, there is no chill for these Mosasaurs already uh, hunting down. Look at them, they're all coming over. <laughs> And all this other mo this other Indominus Rex has already got a few just lingering around waiting for this battle to happen. I got to admit, there's only two Indominus Rexes and 21 Mosasaurs left. Um, I I would be very surprised if these two Indominus Rexes can kill 21 Moses. 96% for this one. It looks like it's getting into a fight. 97. Is it going to be 98 when it starts the fight? 98 when it starts the fight. This one is on 100%. It does have 180 attack and 92. Whereas this guy has 191 and 126. So it is not too crazy of a difference. It does seem like there's a few that have the same actually. Or at least they're very close. 49 taken. Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't like the looks of this. Where did this Indominus Rex go? Where did he run off to? He's over here with 65%. He really needs more health. It looks like we're seeing a repeat of the same battle, 27 and 49, taking it down to 1%. There you go, another kill. This Indominus Rex has killed, how many? Five, make that six Mosasaurs. Um, this Mosasaur itself didn't, oh, it killed two Indominus Rexes, but the third was not the magic number. There you have it, taking its infamy from 1,200 to 1,600. Oh, Lord, who's gonna end with the highest? Oh, where's the Dominus Rex? Oh, no. Did it run back in? Oh, it ran back in. It's starting to fight, and it's on 72%. No, this guy's on 100. Oh, this could be it. It's almost like it's been hit already. 74% is about one hit from a Moser. Gets the first hit off, but still doesn't have as much health as the Mosasaurus. 76 versus 74. This could be it. This could be it. A telltale sign of things to go 46%. They might even call it off. It's going to be a close one. The second bite, 52. Oh, Indominus Rex is running out of steam. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think they're going to kill each other. I don't think that's going to be the case. 
This Indominus Rex taking a quick, uh, sneaky little nap there, but nope, straight back up. Gonna get the 60%. Oh, he's getting up because this Mosasaur might have decided he wants some. He wants some? I'll give it you. <laughs> oh, the Mosasaur on low health. The Mo Sorry, the Indominus Rex is taken out. A 50 v 50 Mosasaur versus Indominus Rex grudge match. And there is only one Indominus Rex left. Oh, oh, look at that. That's nice. They're like, wow, death is so good. <laughs> and entertaining. I grabbed me popcorn. Okay, so he did win this battle or has he been woken up 66%? Oh, this could be it. This could be the final showdown. It's up, wait, what's health? It's on 66%. Hopefully the Indominus Rex has, um, has this, oh, 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 oh. What's going on? What is? Oh, oh, what was his eye doing? He was like, Ooh. <laughs> I was gonna say 66% battle is not good enough. Hopefully he's picked a battle with a low uh, health or low stat Moza. But Fortune could be favoring it actually, because it looks like um, they're too close to each other. Oh, they finally start the battle. That is given Indominus Rex so much extra health. 73% up to 77. This could be it, guys. This could be it. Ooh, the hit coming through from the Moza. Oh, look, there's the last one. Dead. Swimming with the fishes. Look at those big eyes. Looked like the Indominus Rex did a roll there, but uh, it was weirdly delayed. Is it because I'm that far away? I think it might be because I'm that far away. <laughs> I can't get any lower. I wish I could bring the camera lower. This is the best shot I can get. Oh, oh, another hit. Is Moza going to retaliate or is it going to be... Oh, is that it for the Indominus Rex? Or can he take one more hit? Oh, it's close. It's really close. Are they going to call it quits? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is it, the final circle. I think whoever gets the first bite off here is going to decide it. And it's the Moza. There you have it. Indominus Rex taking out the grudge match with full health. Just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. You know what? Colin Trevorrow had it right. Even when a Mosasaur has full health, takes him out. That's one of his famous sayings. I remember it fondly. <laughs> and there it is. A full on, a first ever aquatic massive uh, battle arena. Wait, another one starved to death. What's going on? <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Maybe it wasn't the last one. Maybe he just popped now. So in the end, 50. Mosa versus 15 Dominus Rex, 19 Mosasaurus with random stats managed to win. So there you have it guys, our first ever battle arena aquatic version. How was it? Did you enjoy it? Hopefully there'll be even more mods for the future. Um, adding more aquatic creatures. I would love to see a Lasmosaurus or, you know, Dunkelostias. That would be so cool. And even now that we can add dinosaurs at, you know, their, as themselves, maybe we can just have, you know, an aquatic pack that you just copy and paste into your game and there you go, voila. Legit new dinosaurs and basically new uh, DLC because it's been over a year since we received uh, any update from Jurassic World or Frontier. And, um, this is really going to tide us over because it's going to be probably another year before we get another Jurassic World title that isn't a VR game or some little spin-off thing. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,